traffic, the great necessary evil of our age. We all want improved personal mobility, but we worry about car emissions and the problems of global warming. Where's our automotive industry going, and how are we preparing our cars for an uncertain future? One solution would seem to be the new generation of diesel engines. At the University of Bath's Powertrain and Vehicle Research Unit in the southwest of England, research is being carried out into the production of cleaner, greener and smarter diesel engines to power the next generation of motor vehicles. Diesel's reputation as a dirty, messy fuel is a thing of the past. Current diesel engines record just 50% of the emissions that engines produced only seven years ago and diesel engines have lower fuel consumption than those driven by petrol. They're now directly competitive with their petrol-driven cousins, and in Europe, half of all new cars sold are now diesel-driven vehicles. Diesel engines these days are far more refined than what they were five, six years ago, to such a point that they've become actual fuel misers. The miles per gallon that you can get from a diesel engine now, while still retaining good power, and while still retaining good drivability, uh, which, is what the, which is what the public wants, have put it in a position where it can compete with the gasoline engine on, on many fronts. They used to be thought of as dirty and, and smelly and, and particularly loud, and that's, that, that's not so anymore. They're actually very refined, complex machines. Research at the university is focused on the development of diesel engine technology. Here they're looking at heat flow inside a diesel engine. For every kilowatt of power produced by modern diesel engines, some two kilowatts are thrown away. With 110 thermocouplings embedded in this engine's cylinder walls, this research has been described as the engineering equivalent of neurosurgery, tracking the intimate detail of heat flow in the engine and the variation of heat flux in the cylinders. This will improve modelling accuracy, which in turn will help the design of more efficient engines. It's because of this detailed, practical approach to their research that the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council have recently awarded the team a five-year project to investigate the future of powertrain systems. At the neighbouring University of the West of England, they're putting some of their diesel research to very practical use. Their researchers have been experimenting with the production of biodiesel fuel from recovered vegetable oil, in this case, recovered from their own canteen. By removing impurities through filtration and adding methanol and sodium hydroxide, they produced a biodiesel fuel that, they hope, will eventually be used to run the university's fleet of vehicles. This is more than a simple exercise in recycling. Biofuel may well have a major role to play in the future, and research here is equally concerned with processing fuel from plant sources, such as rapeseed. The problem with recycled oil is there's only a finite amount in the environment that we could get hold of. Uh, we, we only eat so many chips in our lives. Uh, whereas with pure oil, we've got extensive agricultural land, some of which is currently in set aside, which could then be devoted to growing crops for fuels. The oil will burn in a similar way to fossil fuels and contain similar amounts of energy but the thickness of untreated oils would normally cause damage in diesel engines. By chemically breaking down the triglycerides into glycerol and fatty acid esters, the viscosity is greatly reduced while retaining the energy content. So, is biodiesel a fuel for the future? It's going to help to solve our fuel problems and there's a very important aspect to this and that's called peak oil. In the next few years, world production of crude oil is going to peak and then it's going to start drop, dropping. At the same time, we're going to have increased demand from countries such as India and China. And that's going to create a great pressure on, on us. Biofuels will be part of the answer. Biodiesel may well be part of the answer to the future of our fuels. What is beyond doubt is the value that university research brings to the future of the automotive industry. Industry is constrained by having to get products to market as quickly as possible to meet customer perception and also to be in line with their competitors. Now some of the products that get to market are probably not as refined as they would like but they haven't got the time to take them offline to work in a focused research area in order to make the improvements that can feed back into product development and that's where we can come in because that is what we do.